this problem is just asking us to solve the inequality. It's not specifying to graph or to require some kind of interval notation, but for extra practice, maybe I'll do all three just to get them all in there in case we need it. So to solve the inequality, we, for the most part, treat inequalities like equations, where we have additive, multiplica multiplicative, division, and subtraction properties that what we do to one side needs to be done to the other. There are a couple exceptions. For example, if you have a negative, and you're dividing by a negative, there's a requirement to switch the sign of the inequality because numbers that are larger in magnitude but negative are considered to be smaller on the number line. But for this one, let's go through and see what we actually have. t minus 3, bigger than or equal to 12. So we will add 3 to both sides of the equation or the inequality to yield t bigger than or equal to 15. So that's it for solving the inequality, if that was all that was required. The extra practice is to notice that if you take 15 and put it on the number line, in our textbook we use closed dots, although brackets are another notation, t is supposed to be bigger than or equal to 15, so the shading will be required to go to the right. And then as an interval notation, we would say this begins at 15 and extends off to infinity. Okay, second example, 24 is less than or equal to v plus 9. This time the variable is on the right, so we'll subtract 9 from both sides. 24 minus 9 is 15, less than or equal to v. And for ease of notation, it's almost exclusively always better to write this as v bigger than or equal to 15. So in other words, if the variable is not on the left-hand side, we really like to write it on the left-hand side to make it easier to read. With equations, we could just flip it over by the symmetric property of equality. We can't do that here. We actually have to be more formal. Okay, so what do we get here? Well, come over to our picture, and you'll notice that, oh wow, what a coincidence, I didn't even realize. 15, close dot, and we need to be bigger than or equal to 15, so that means that we will shade to the right. So coincidentally, I swear I didn't do this on purpose, it comes out to be the exact same answer. Well, it's okay, I have a practice problem for you to try anyway. Let's go to this page and hopefully this one's different. Try x plus 7 is less than 9 on your own, and assuming you paused and tried this on your own for a second, we will subtract 7 from both sides, that yields x is less than 2, so the inequality answer would just be x is less than 2. On a number line, we would go to 2 and this time put an open dot because it's less than, not less than or equal to. And the shading this time, since it's less than, would shade to the left. As uh, an interval, we would say that the shading begins at negative infinity and it goes up until 2 but it doesn't include 2, and that's why we use the parentheses on the right instead of the brackets.